We're going to be graphing sine and cosine waves with a new center line. It's like a vertical shift. You're just going to shift the, gra the whole graph up or down. Um, still, you need to remember these key um, values here. For sine, we have, uh, it starts at 0, and it's 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. For cosine, you need to know these. We start at 1, and we go 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. So let's say if we're going to shift up the graph by 2. So I'm going to change this to a 2. Then all you're doing is adding 2 to this value here. So that would be 2, 3, 2, 1, 2. And if you shift it up to here for cosine, so we're going to do plus 2 here, that would be 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay? So I'm going to graph sine um, of x plus 2 and sine of cox uh, plus 2. And I will also do sine of x minus 2, cosine of x minus 2, just for extra practice. So make sure you know how to graph the parent functions, because I'm going to go a little faster on this video. So bottom line, we have the graph. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, write uh, my radians in. We have my quadrandal angles. And I'm just sketching this. This is not a perfect graph by all means. It's hard to do on the iPad. I'm going to have my um, amplitude. Remember, the amplitude that we're doing right now is 1. So we're, doing, we're going to do y equals sine of x first. That means the amplitude is 1. That means my radius is 1, which we talked about in a previous video. So I'm going to do dot, 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 and make a wavy, curvy, characteristic type curve, and let's go backwards to negative pi over 2, negative pi, negative 3 pi over 2, and negative 2 pi. And I just go down, continue the wave, so it's continuous, and kind of make it curvy, like that. So there's your parent function. Now, when we um, add the 2, y equals sine of x plus 2, um, make sure you, all we're doing is we're taking all of these points and shifting them up by 2. So all I'm going to do is start from here and do 2, add 2 here. We already did it on the table on the previous slide, up to here and up to here, about here. And we just shifted this whole thing up by 2. Just like taking the graph and shifting it up. So um, here I'm going to shift this up by 2. Uh, the negative pi is going to go up by 2. It's going to go up by 2. It's going to go up by 2. 1, 2. This is bad over here. Up by 2. So just kind of go there and the whole graph got shifted up by 2. Now, I made it a little too pointy, so it should be a little more curvy there. And that is the vertical shift up by 2. We have a new center line at y equals 2. So this is your new center line. And that's why they call it the center line. Because you really have the three dots right here. Dot, dot, dot. New center line as opposed to our old center line, which is at y equals 0. This is y equals 0, and this one was y equals 2. And that's all that is. We're going to do cosine next. So I'm going to um, fill in my radians real quick, pi over 2. I'm just going to do this side because I think you all get the hem. Not 3 pi. What's What comes next, guys? Yes, pi, 3 pi over 2, 
and 2 pi and I'm going to have it at 1, negative 1 and we're graphing the cosine wave, cosine of uh, y equals cosine of x we start at 1 so we make our V shape here and make it curvy my center line is right here that's at y equals 0 when I graph y equals cosine of x plus 2 that means we're just shifting everything up by 2 and I'm just going up by 2 here up 2 up 2 this is wrong this one's up 2 here this is up 2 all right and just make it curvy and my new center line is right here let me do it in purple there's my new center line at y equals 2 if the whole graph got shifted up by 2 all right I'll do one more with um, a shift down we'll go ahead and do y equals sine of x Oops, sorry sine of x and we're going to go to 1 negative 1 pi over 2 this is 0 pi 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi again this is just a sketch I'm doing signs so I'm going to start at 0 and then proceed up and make this um, these peaks looks like peaks but make it curvy and then I want to shift down by 2 so I'm just taking everything going all my points and going down by 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 and the whole thing gets shifted down by 2 and you can proceed on the negative side as well the next video I'm going to do is we're going to combine the amplitude and the new center line in other words we are going to combine the vertical stretch with the new center line.